Well, how do there, chums, as I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, as you can see, I'm in No Man's Sky over there, so I'm going to be talking about No Man's Sky. Now, uh, what I'm going to be talking about, though, is why I haven't actually done a video this year on a thank you to Hello Games. Ah, so let's uh, jump on over onto the old Twitterverse. Boom! Here I am on the old Twitterverse, and here I am on Sean Murray's page. Now, when I scroll on down from Sean Murray, and we look for what he's posted in between July and current, you know, because that's usually when hype starts building around the anniversary, you will see that there's been a couple of patches. And other than that, there's, there's not much else that's gone out. 14th of July, he posted an experimental branch, lovely jubbly. And then here, we've got new experimental build on August 1st. And then nothing. Tumbleweed and silence. However, when you look at his uh, Twitter page from previous year, from August 1st onwards, you've got all of this sort of stuff. Thank you to everyone who's joined us to explore the universe together. What a journey has been so far. And that was six years ago. So this was last year. When you compare last year to this year, this is the sort of thing that we were seeing from the Murray. We were seeing a little bit of a lift to say, you know, yes, we're quite proud of what we've done. We've hit another milestone. That's another year under our belts. Heck yes, people. And look, even started to sort of put out some sort of idea that there might be an emoji on the horizon and he's running out of emojis to do. I freaking love this, people. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> spiders and stuff like oh my days a hot dog banana fucking heck yes i really wish he would have used this this year i was really hoping to see some sort of spliced up crazy emoji this year i was hoping to see some hype built for the seventh year anniversary this year people previous year when we done the meetup i actually hit on up um you know, tim woolley and sean and, and said look we're doing the meetup and I got a reply back to say, yes, this is stapled into our calendars. Thank you for putting it on our radar, all that sort of shenanigans. This year I did the same thing. No reply. I don't know whether they even have registered that the meetup is happening. I haven't seen a dev update. There was a, a dev update previous year where they actually said, you know, the meetup's happening. I don't know what's going on. Um, so at the moment, it's just gone completely deathly silent. I mean, you can see here 4th of August, we've got like images posted up there. That one's a little bit freaking naughty. But yeah, we've got all sorts going on. Look, look at that, a beautiful screenshot. And that was July 25th. So the hype was being built. Sean was very active. That activity has dropped off the radar. Um, what I am seeing though inside of No Man's Sky is a lot of squiffiness around multiplayer. Some really weird multiplayer stuff going on at the moment. I was just standing in the Nexus on my freaking own. In fact, if I just uh, bring up my game image right now, people. So if I jump straight into game. Now I'm in multiplayer right now. If I go to ne network settings, look, it's enabled. You can join my group. Oh, that's probably why actually. Just put that to anyone. I uh, know that that shouldn't make a blind bit of difference. That 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 should be fine. That should be fine. But I'll leave it as anyone anyway. But yeah, I haven't seen any ships appear here. I'm just on my own inside of this instance. And networking, as you can see, is turned on in here. You know, enabled, crossplay enabled. It's bizarre. No one is inside of the Nexus. I've reloaded a couple of times now. People jump back in, jump back out not seeing anybody it was like a freaking ghost yard in here or whatever you want to call it it's, it's freaking dodgy yeah you know the missions are still there and everything that's all still working but yeah not seeing anybody inside of multiplayer so yeah anyway back to what i was saying people i just i just don't see the same level of hype from hello games right now and i, I am thankful I am thankful we've had a freaking awesome year when it comes to updates and sort of things coming into the verse. We've had some new corrupted Sentinels, which are freaking terrific. Love the new Sentinels. In fact, let's go on over to uh, the No Man's Sky website, people. There we go. No Man's Sky. Okay, well, I got that a bit freaking weird. No, there we go. Boom. No Man's Sky. We go to release log. Let's just have a look at the quick release log and we'll have a look at what's come to us during this year, people. Okay, right. So let's just scroll on down. Um, and that doesn't put the dates on it, which doesn't make it all too easy, does it? So let's go to release log. Uh, no, we'll go to news then. One of them gives the dates. 
It'd be nice if the dates were on both Hello Games. Anyways, let's scroll on down. So in July, we've got Singularity patches coming out left, right and centre. Quite a lot of patches, to be honest, for quite a small sort of expedition in a roundabout way. So that takes us back to June, just all patches in June and, and more patches. But there you go, 7th of June, Expedition 10 released in June. It's now, what, July, August. It's been a good two months. If you go over to Hello Games' LinkedIn page, they say that they like to try and put something out there into the verse with inside of that sort of time frame, two-monthy type period. Um, so any time now, hopefully we get to see maybe Expedition 11 and ARG Part 3. Anyway, scrolling down, No Man's Sky on Apple Mac launched. Now, I would say that that went fairly well, to be honest. Yes, hello, I'm proud of the pace of the team on No Man's Sky already this year. Our last update for No Man's Sky Intercept was just a few weeks ago. Exactly, normally a couple of weeks to about two months is usually when we see an update. And yes, you know, Fractals was just one of those six weeks before that. You know, so six weeks just before that was Fractal. So they've almost set a precedent that within about six weeks' time, you might see another update don't sort of get turned out it's been past that now so anyways momentum has been good this year though people and i don't want to come across like i'm expectant of this stuff it's just that over on linkedin they set that precedent some time ago come and work with hello games a team where you get to see your your works appear inside of the game of inside the space of like a month to two months anyway scrolling down and yeah, Interceptor came out just before that, so keep on going. So here we go, Interceptor update. Hello, launching today. We wanted to shake things up a little with our new update. No Man's Sky Interceptor. Heck yes. And yeah, I love all the new Corrupted Sentinels. I really like the spider tanks, especially the ones that have got cloaking devices. They go invisible and all that sort of shenanigans. Even the little ones that leap at you. Pretty darn sweet. Like it, like it, like it a lot. Liking the new Sentinel types that they've introduced in other updates as well, which is great. Fractal update freaking awesome and that takes us back to february and that was quite a good sort of launch to the actual year in a roundabout way it, it gave us fun things to do but when i say it gives us fun things to do it's given us expeditions to run it's given us bits and bobs to do with the utopia speedier and stuff like that but i think the sentinel ships really blew it out of the park this year the sentinel ships that you you know they're freaking awesome they're very modular they're probably the most modular ship that we've got inside of the verse and i think they're freaking awesome sterling work whoever done the work on the on the uh, sentinel ships inside of hello games salute amondo you've done freaking awesome heck yes you have so then there was holiday expeditions in november 2022 so this year we've seen like the fractal update the utopia speed come in we've seen the new corrupted sentinels we've seen new sentinel ships come into the verse so so far some really cool stuff it's been mainly sentinel focused and there's been a lot of hints about the realm of glass and there's been a lot of lore and i love lore you know how much i love lore so this year for me has been fairly exciting to a degree it's just gone extremely silent around what is normally what is normally one of the most sort of engaging times of the year and it's usually one of the most engaging times of the year because sean murray usually goes freaking hyperdrive there's loads of different posts popping up pictures of images maybe recycling the bases inside of the feature bases inside of the nexus and usually something really tasty inside of the quicksilver store usually some sort of fireworks or base parts because they know that people like to build a nice new base using the new parts that they've given or fireworks to set off and do a celebration for the party and the anniversary of no man's sky hasn't happened this year it's kind of very off pattern off piece for hello games i'm wondering i'm wondering people inside the universe and in view of us is could it be that they're extremely close to announcing their new title is that why things have gone a little bit quiet on the old no man's sky front and sean murray's twitter page is something bigger being concocted in the wings people I'm wondering whether we might hear about their new IP in this final quarter of this year, or if not, early part of next. But I would say this quarter makes the most sense, mainly because you've got something like Starfield launching, which is quite a large rival for their player base. And that's what I'm thinking, people in the view of us. So yeah, keep out your eye peepers and your ear holes. If you do see or hear anything, please let me know, people. Um, I mean, as, as, I, I usually check pretty much every morning, but I could miss something. So yes, this is up. Yeah, all my social deets are inside of my channel page. That's another thing that's happening right now, people. Links on YouTube are getting banished from all the video descriptions. YouTube doing their admin work. 
Yeah, annihilating people's links inside of their video descriptions. You have to check channel pages now on the About page to see the channel links. Yeah, I know, it's weird. But anyway, that's where they are now, so be sure to go check on over there. Anyway, people, I'm going to end off because that's pretty much all I've got to say to you. I do want to say a massive great big thank you to Hello Games. Now, we are doing the UK meetup, and during the UK meetup over in Guildford, we do a massive great big shout-out and a thank you to Hello Games. We also give them a gift from the community. This year, we've got an ideas book. We've got a few other bits that we're going to be giving to them. I've got this a little plaque thing that you scan, it plays some 50 days of sat static or whatever it is, 60 days of static, whatever the group's called. The Hello Get the freaking No Man's Sky music, basically, from Spotify. You just, just plays music. Anyway, I've got that for them. There's a few other bits and bobs that other people are bringing along that we're also going to gift to hello games so there's a lot of thanks that goes into the the meetup for hello games and i'm sure you're going to see a massive video from me towards the end of this month about the meetup and the thank you to hello games so this video is kind of why haven't i done a video of my own on my channel this year because i do them every year thank you to hello games and it's because there isn't much to put in it other than to say, well, thank you very much for everything you've delivered this year. I'm really liking the direction of the Realm of Glassy type stuff and the vibe. It almost feels like the text adventure is actually getting realized into actuality inside of the game. I mean, we got Laylapse the other year. That was freaking awesome to see that happen from the abandoned sort of lore with inside of abandoned buildings. So I really liked the I like the way that you're moving. I just hope that it does amalgamate into something that feels tangible and brings players in to play daily i'm thinking daily raids or weekly raids at the very least um some kind of factions or guilds to be implemented something that's end game content because we've got all the lovely story we've got it all to the point that we can get all these s class modules and we can get taught to the nines but then what happens after that for longevity for players that have been playing that are legacy players what's going to bring them in to play each day I'm thinking the elements a bit like what you see in Destiny, you know, that bring people in to keep playing, keep grinding, get their light level up and keep evolving their character, evolving the story. I'm, I'm hoping to see a little bit more of that. Not that I want No Man's Sky to move to be in a service type platform of a game. But at the same time, if it does actually bring out new content drops and big DLC bundles and packages for No Man's Sky, then it's one of my favorite games ever. You know, I was happy to sign up and do that with Inside of Destiny, so why the fudge not with freaking, you know, No Man's Sky? Although with Destiny, I tend to buy those DLC packages after they've gone into a sale. So I very rarely buy them at launch because it's not my go-to game. It's something that I might hit up and play in the background offline. Yeah, if you do want to see me play Destiny 2, let me know. I have done a couple of Destiny 2 videos in the past and I do thoroughly enjoy it, people. Anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.